Mark, you're into the second week. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good, confident enough, so hope it continues. How important is the experience you got last year? Uh, well, valuable, definitely. Uh, I take a lot of positives out of last year's tournament, even though I lost. But uh, to go to the semis and get the one table set up here at Sheffield is a dream come true, really. But it's up to me now to go one step further and hopefully get, a, get to the final and get a shot at the title. As a quarter final first, uh, how are you going to approach Graham Dock? Same as any other match, really. Just uh, concentrate on my own game. Not worry too much about him if I can play well and I've got a chance. And if not, then I'm sure Graham will fancy his chances. Are you not bothered who you play? No, definitely not. I think the form I've shown in the first two rounds, I'm capable of beating anyone. And uh, my form's good and my practices went well. My preparations is going very well for each round. And uh, But it's just all in the day. Whenever you go out there, it's about performing and I feel confident. You look relaxed in there as well. I think you have to be. I think... Uh, I came here under no real pressure other than what I put under myself and uh, I came here knowing that I was safe in the top 16 and a good run would give me an outside chance again in the top 8 and I think uh, other players are under a little bit of pressure with ranking position and sort of per personal goals and things like that but at the minute I feel quite relaxed, I have no, no real pressure on me and I can just perform. And you got the highest break so far, 146, the first time ever at the Crucible. Yeah, I swapped, swapped the first time ever at the Crucible for one of the many many people that have had a 147. Obviously, the the money's a big difference, and obviously, bet for it giving the bonus for the killing cancer charities uh, be a great cause. But uh, now that I've got a 146, I hope that the only one that beats it is myself. You've only got to go one higher. Well, that's a, that one point makes all the difference, and especially for the charity and monetary terms for myself, it would make a massive difference. But it's up to me to go out there and just concentrate on winning, and if I keep winning, then I might have a chance there on the tournament for one. It is a long tournament. How have you relaxed since uh, finishing off your last opponent on Friday night? I've done very, very little, to be fair. Uh, Saturday I took the day off and watched the football and that and watched United win. Uh, and uh, sort of done a little bit of practice today and... I'll do a little bit of practice again tonight and just get ready for tomorrow, really. Just do as little as possible and conserve all of my energy for my matches. Have you got the hunger? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm just looking forward to playing. Obviously, I've had big gaps in between my first two matches and my, my quarterfinal match as well. And it's about just going out there and performing. And I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it. And the final question, you got knocked out in the semi-finals last year. Can you go one better? I think so. I think uh, my game's in as good a shape as it's ever been. And uh, I'm quietly confident that I can go all the way this year.